Hi, welcome to this video tutorial for Ghost LE. Ghost LE is a Max for Live device. It's a generative looping random sequencer. Um, so you can use it with uh, any instrument in live. Um, you can have multiple versions of it open across different tracks. Um, first thing you want to do, load the device, uh, pick an instrument. Uh, for this video, I'm using um, an instrument from the new colliders pack which you can get from the isotonic website highly recommended and uh, pick a scale and a key and then open up the floating window by pressing the arcade button so what we have here is the classic uh, maze from the pac-man game and as with the previous ghost device which uh, was designed to be used with uh, 8x8 grid uh, control surfaces like push and uh, launch pads, for example. Um, this one runs uh, just in Ableton with, with no controller, uh, but what it means is we can uh, replicate the, the original maze. So what we have is a maze that represents a um, step sequencer. Um, so you can you can pick a you can pick a preset, which is a preset for the, the grid layout of the notes. Okay, uh, and then we can change some of the parameters here. So we can pick notes and we can choose to add or remove notes where we want to. Okay, uh, it's possible to clear the grid as well if you just want to start from scratch and start sequencing. Uh, but if we pick a preset for now, let's go for Quadra. Uh, and then what we do is we have up to four ghosts that can run. So if I pick the first one and press play, Let's turn the other ones off for now. So we have the Blue Ghost running. Every time it gets to some sort of junction, it makes a random decision as to which way um, it's going to go. Whenever it goes over one of the yellow uh, power pills, it triggers a note. So the yellow ones represent note triggers. The pitch of the note is determined by the mode down here. So there's different modes you can choose from. And what the modes represent are the different layouts of uh, pitches for each of the um, each of the notes. Um, so rather than selecting the pitch yourself, you simply pick a mode. The manual shows you what the modes do and how they lay the notes out. Um, it's probably just worth mentioning the last mode is random, so that it will give you random, whereas the rest of them uh, will keep uh, fixed pitches for each of the notes. So take a look at the manual uh, for that uh, but really selecting different modes across the different ghosts means when two ghosts land on the same spot they might trigger a different note if they have a different mode selected we can choose accent notes which are the oranges these need to be placed on top of a note and they will um, give a high velocity range and then we can also choose um, speed pills which are the cherries these can be placed anywhere and if a ghost goes over one of these uh, it will either speed the ghost up or slow the ghost down this will happen for a number of steps determined here so you can choose how many steps the speed um, trigger is active for and you can choose the chance of the speed actually being um, applied same with accent you can choose the um, the amount of accent that is applied uh, so it allows you to scale it. Okay, uh, let's trigger some more ghosts. So we can either trigger a ghost by clicking edit and run, or we can click edit and just place the ghost somewhere on the grid and we can re-trigger on where we want to as well whilst it's selected. Okay, various settings for the ghost, uh, we can mute them, we can solo a ghost. Uh, we can choose the speed. Okay, we can do things like, uh, we can loop as well. I can set a number of steps and then I can set, turn the loop on. I've got it set to eight, so the blue ghost is going to loop over eight steps. This allows you to create um, 
some familiarity within the sequence. So you can, even though they're quite random, you could have two of the ghosts looping and then another two um, kind of running around randomly. Whilst the ghost is looping, you can still play with their settings like velocity, uh, randomized velocity, the note length, uh, the range, this is the, um, the pitch range. So if you have a narrow pitch range, it's only covering a few notes within an octave. A high pitch range means it's, it could potentially cover the whole range of uh, notes available. You can do the octaves. And the mode which I've already mentioned. Let's loop the pink ghost for six steps. got something uh, running and you want to turn this into a clip over here we have the uh, looper function we can set a number of bars so I'll keep it on two for now and then I click the middle button and it will wait and then start recording um, a loop this simply captures the MIDI data being generated by the device once it's captured two bars it will start to loop over here so we're no longer listening to the MIDI sequences running in the background we're hearing the um, the captured loop uh, of those two bars. At any point I can turn this into a clip by using the arrow buttons or just selecting a clip slot on the same track and click clip. We look inside we've captured uh, a, a perfect loop of everything that's happening. This is a really quick way of just using the device to generate ideas uh, and capture them as clips as well. We can capture a new loop like so. And again, turn that into a new clip. Click the red button to stop and resume playback of the sequences. We can reset all the ghosts. And we can clear the grid as well. For the manual and more videos, be sure to check out the Isotonic website.